Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making sublimation tumblers. And as I make these tumblers, I'm going to be going over some common problems, mistakes, and things that people run into when they make tumblers and how you can avoid those mistakes so that your tumblers turn out perfect. So hit that subscribe button and let's go. These are all the designs that I'm going to be making today. All of these designs came from, from an Etsy shop called Tumblers with Melissa. She was so kind and she sent me a couple of these designs to try out. And then I love them so much that I actually went back and purchased more um, myself. So these are the designs we're using. So the first thing that people will do as a mistake is they will leave too much of the design on the paper when they go to wrap it around the tumbler. Why is this a mistake? Why is this a problem? You would think overlap is a good thing, right? Because if you have an overlap, then you for sure have your design covered. Wrong. If you leave too much of your design on your paper, when you go to wrap it around your tumbler, you will end up with something like this. That simple mistake of having these here to where these are you know, faded and stuff like that, this is because of an overlap. The paper, the design was simply too long and it overlapped causing that to be an issue. So how much is the right much of overlap? Because you don't want to have a gap. What do you do? Well, let me show you here so you can kind of get an idea of exactly what you're trying to get and what you're trying to go for. We are going to take it and wrap it around, making sure it's very tight. Okay, and this is about what we're looking for in terms of the overlap here. Now, you want to make sure that everything is lined up properly along the top and the bottom so that our bottom edge is like so. This is another common mistake people will make is they will have this paper hanging over. If you do have excess paper hanging over like that, you are likely to have white little gaps, little bubble type looking splotches around the top of your design. And I will try to find a picture of that. If I have one and can find one of those, I will insert it here. Once you have everything exactly where you want it is we're gonna go ahead and tape it down very tightly and secure. We're gonna take the first piece of tape and I'm gonna tape it half like here, like so and then I'm going to bend it over into the inside of the cup like this. Now I'm gonna take this and make this all the way down this way, making it extremely tight as I go. Okay, this is the shrink rack. I'm sharp from Coastal Business Supplies. I use their medium size, which is about 11 by seven inches. I started at both the top and the bottom first to make sure all of my edges are good and covered. Once I've done that, I hit it up a little bit in the middle, all the way around. The next biggest mistake that people run into is using the wrong time on their convection oven. This is key to use the right temperature and time. So what I do is I typically shoot for around 370, 375. I do my tumblers for four minutes, flipping them over halfway through. it will save a lot of your projects. So. Okay, so now that our tumbler is in the convection oven, let's talk about how to tell if you are using the wrong time and temperature. So if you have a tumbler that comes out with the wrong colors, that's pretty good indication that you have the wrong time temperature, possibly both that you're using to cook your tumblers. So if the design is um, primarily black in the image, but it's coming out, uh, say brown, then you need to turn your temperature and or your time down when you're cooking. If the image is supposed to be black and it's coming out green, then it means it's undercooked. You need to increase either your time, temperature, or possibly both, depending on what you're doing. Now, along that same lines, if you've gone through all of this and your image is just not taking, you can barely see it on your tumbler, I would stop and ask you to double check to make sure that you have a sublimation tumbler because if some people I have heard seen buying on the past buying them from Amazon and those don't aren't true sublimation tumblers some are but not all are so be careful in where you're purchasing your tumblers make sure they're true sublimation tumblers if you've gone through everything else and you're still having an issue with your design all right guys and here we go these are the finished tumblers that we have here I'll give you kind of an up close view of each one so this one says be still and no we have the hummingbird here, the pretty blue and black and white one here, baseball mom, and our happy camper. 
So as you can see, they came out beautifully. I hope these tips and tricks helped you guys. Things to avoid, things to make sure that you do. And guys, be sure to check this shop out. Tumblr's with Melissa. Her designs are amazing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.